for the definition on CDLs, when is a CDL required? A CDL is required at 26,001 pounds or more. So that's either interstate or intrastate, it doesn't matter. Once it hits 26,000 pounds, that's whenever a CDL is required. Now, like I said earlier, um, check with your state because there are a few states. We're gonna, I'm gonna have a slide that shows a couple of the states and what their, their actual rule is, but um, check with your state just to ensure that your driver doesn't need maybe a class E, class F, class B license. But here's the different classes. We have class A, we have class B, we have a class C CDL. So the class A CDL, and a lot of you have probably seen the class A CDLs. The class A CDLs is gross combination weight rating of 26,000 pounds or more, 26,001 pounds or more provided the vehicle being towed is in excess of 10,000 pounds, greater than 10,000 pounds. So what that looks like is it looks like a tractor trailer. So it's something you actually combine together. So it would be a tractor and a trailer, or it could possibly be a dump truck hauling a backhoe on a trailer. That backhoe on a trailer is probably over 10,000 pounds. So at that point, they would need a class A CDL. It could also be a pickup truck pulling a gooseneck even if it's empty because the gross vehicle weight rating says it's over the weight. So if it goes over 26,000 pounds, they need a class A CDL. So like I said, that could be a tractor trailer, tractor trailer. It could be a pickup, duty pickup pulling this. The three axles, pretty sure I can almost guarantee you that this load right here is over 26,000 pounds. Now this is hauling farm equipment, so it's a little bit different, but um, this is going to be over 26,000 pounds. So this pickup truck driver would require a class A CDL for this if they're in commerce. 